So the first action I want to show you is to click an item without moving the edit or play cursor. So our project setup here, which sounds like this. And by default, if we select our items, it's going to move the play cursor as well. So now if I hit play, it starts from here. When sometimes we prefer to keep the play cursor where we had it, which is over here. We just want to select our items without moving the play cursor, even though it's useful sometimes. We want to start from here, or from over here, but sometimes we don't. We want to keep the play cursor or edit cursor at the beginning or any place we left it, like here. And we just want to select our items without moving that edit or play cursor. And we can change this with a mouse modifier. If we go to our preferences, control P on the PC, command comma on the Mac, it opens up our Reaper preferences. And we can scroll down to the editing behavior to our mouse modifiers. And then find the context for media item and left click. And we can see by default, when we click on media items, it's going to select the item and move the edit cursor. So let's change that. We'll double click it, choose select items, and just choose just select. So now if we hit OK, and then we select our media items, it just selects those items. It doesn't move the edit or play cursor. It'll still start at the beginning or wherever we left it. So we can select these items or multiple items like this, holding control on the PC or command on the Mac, or hold shift to select them all. And it still keeps our edit or play cursor at the beginning or wherever we left it. But there are situations where we still want to move the edit or play cursor. So for that, we can click up here in the ruler and now it'll play from here or from here or here or any place we move it. But when we select our items, the play or edit cursor doesn't move. We could also click right above our items up here. And then it's going to move our edit cursor without selecting our items. We can click up here or over here just to move our play or edit cursor, but without selecting our items. But if we do select our items, it just selects the items. It doesn't move our edit or play cursor. So we can click in the ruler or right above our items. But we could also choose, which is my personal preference, is the bottom half of our items. If we go back to our preferences and change this from the media item to the media item bottom half. And by default, the bottom half behaves like the top half. But we could change that for each one of our modifiers. So by default, let's change this to select items, but also move the edit cursor, which is what it did by default with the top and bottom halves. But now it's only going to work on the bottom half. So now, if we select our items on the top half, it selects them, but it doesn't move our edit cursor. If we want to move the edit cursor, we can still click in the ruler or above our items, but now we could also click the bottom half of the items. So I can click right here, it selects the item, and it moves the edit cursor, which is the default behavior from before. Select here, or select here, in the bottom half of the item, and it selects the item along with the edit or play cursor. And if we don't want that behavior, just select the top half. And it just selects the item without moving the edit or play cursor. But again, we change this from the default behavior. So if you prefer this way, just change it as we just did. By changing it in the media item left click to just select the item and the bottom half to select the item and move the edit cursor. So we could select the top to just select the items or the bottom half to select and move the edit cursor. But again, we can still move the edit cursor by itself by clicking in the ruler or above 
the media items like this. Hope you learned something. Hope you could use it, and I'll see you next time. Thanks. Bingo, boys, let's go. Mm -hmm.